It certainly is, Penny. This is where they make scotch tape, you know. What? Is this the lake where the monster is supposed to live? <laughs> Maybe that's why Chief Crumby sent you up here. Don't be ridiculous. There are no such thing as monsters. You can take my word for that. There is absolutely nothing in that lake. <laughs> So sure, Gadget, you can never tell what lies below the surface. Right, Mad Cat? overheating again. Now, where's that book that tells you what to do? It's here somewhere. Oh, no! Got him. It says, pull over and stop. Well, I did that. Say, this road has certainly gotten smaller. They ought to put up a warning sign. Hmm. Quiet. I heard something. Is that you, Chief? Speak louder. I can't hear you. But, Uncle, it's Chief Quimby. Oh, no, that Penny. I mean, he's here. Oh. oh, sorry, Chief. I didn't see you. There was a sheep in the way. Read this note and look at this picture. Professor Thumpkin, world's leading scientist, has just arrived in Scotland to search for the lake monster. Dr. Claw will try to kidnap him. Your mission is to protect the professor from the forces of mad. This message will self-destruct. Don't worry, Chief. I'm always on duty. With Gadget on the job, Thumpkin is as safe as you are. Look, Gadget, just... Huh? Oh! That's what I'm afraid of. You escaped that time, Gadget, but you'll never arrive in time to save the professor. Is everything ready? Ready, Dr. Claw. We can see him coming. Good. Gadget, I've got you now. <laughs> That's what I like. A well-marked road. Now, let's see. Estimate time of arrival. Lock nest. Find Professor... <laughs> Wowzers, this road needs a lot of work. I catch it. <laughs>
Excuse me. Can anyone tell me how I get to Loch Ness? Hmm. These people are not very friendly, Penny. We'll find our own way. Professor Bumpkin is supposed to be right here. There's no sign of him or his mobile laboratory. He's probably just going for a walk. Why would he take the whole lab? You mean the lab's gone too? That's right. Hmm. It's just a suspicion, but I think the professor's disappeared. Penny, you wait at the hotel. I'm going to look for him. Okay, Uncle Gadget. Be careful. I'm always careful. That's what makes me a great inspector. I'll never understand why they put trees in backup zones. I'm worried. Uncle Gadget is supposed to protect Professor Fumpkin from Dr. Claw. Keep an eye on Uncle Gadget, Brain, but don't let him see you. I'm going to set up a radar computer on the far side of the lake and see if I can locate that monster. I'll see you later. Now let's work this out logically. Professor Funkin wanted to see what was in the lake. If someone wants to see, he has to get up high. What's high? A tree. Therefore, Professor Funkin must be up a tree. Professor? Come down this minute. I know you're up there. All right. I'm coming up after you. Go, go, gadget arms. Here I come. Of all the times for my spring to break. Go, go, Gadget Arms! Go, go, Gadget Arms! He must be up another tree. <laughs> Gadget doesn't even suspect we're here. He's in for a surprise, isn't he, Mad Gant? I hope this radar screen works. I've never used it for an underwater search. There's something there. I knew it. Boy, it's big and fast. If it would only come closer, I might be able to get a picture scan. All right, Professor. I've got you this time. What was that? There's something there. Now for my gadget camera. Ah, the camera never lies. Look at that. Why, it's horrible. What if it's captured the professor? Don't worry, professor. I'm coming. Gosh, there's another one. I hope Brain is watching Uncle Gadget. <laughs> They didn't say anything about rain today on the weather report. Hmm. Either that fish has a driver's license or I'm underwater. Hmm. Huh? Wowzers. Go, go, gadget. Go. Oh. Now for a little hilarious gas for pleasure. They're coming closer. Maybe I can get a picture. Golly, that's the gadget mobile. And that's Brain. There's something coming up behind them. 
It's a... Oh, my gosh! Brain! Brain! Look behind you! <laughs> Goes, you won't get away this time. Hurry, hurry, it's gaining. like something from Professor Funkin's mobile laboratory. Are you all right, Uncle Gadget? Mm -hmm. Oh, Penny, yes, fine. It takes more than an underwater creature to worry your uncle. I didn't think you saw it. Of course I did. I was just about to catch it. What? Oh, right. Oh, Uncle Gadget is... Sorry, Penny, no time now. I'm hot on Funkin's trail. <laughs> Oh, there you are. Brain, I have to rebuild this computer. You follow Uncle Gadget. Look at all this junk. Now if I could just find a trash can. Ah, what do you know? Scottish walking stick. Mm, nice one, too. But I'll not be needing that now. Last. Finished. Even better than before. I wonder if I can spot that monster. There it is. You know, there's something funny about it. It's the feet. They're... They're tractor treads. Why, it's not real. It's a machine monster. That means someone must have built it. Dr. Claw! Uncle Gadget! Brain! Brain, come in! Brain, you've got to warn Uncle Gadget. He's standing in front of the monster. Just a few more steps backward. Where? Where could they have taken him? Wait a second. This cave looks suspicious. Yes, I bet that's it. Claw has hidden the professor in this cave. I'm coming, professor! At last. It's an earthquake. Ha, ha! Whoa! Hello there. Ah, Professor Funkin, I presume. He's there, all right. Exactly where I want him. <laughs> what are you laughing for? I did all the work. Who are you? Inspector Gadget, at your service. Now, don't thank me for finding you. Just doing my job. What job? To protect you, of course. Wonderful. But how do we get out of here? The way we came in, of course. Right out that door. Hmm. I see your point, Professor. No problem. A quick slice with my gadget laser. Hey <laughs> Well, that door is obviously in 
impenetrable. Please, Inspector Gadget. Couldn't we just sit here and wait? Nonsense. Inspector Gadget never waits. Ah, you see, there's the motor. I'll just make a small adjustment. No, Mr. Gadget. Please. There. Inspector, I wish to surrender. Nothing could be worse than your protection. Surrender? Inspector Gadget never surrenders. Besides, I think I found the computer connection. A delicate little twist of the gadget wrench. <gasps> oh, no. See? No need to be alarmed with Gadget on the job. <laughs> It's running amok. And it's coming this way. Out of my way, Mad Cat. Everything is going to be just fine. Gosh, look! It's out of control! The guidance system must have shorted. It did! I knew it! See? It's in his head! We've got to get up there and turn it off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, come on, Brain. I can't control it. No. Go away. I'm your master. Get ready, Brain. When it passes under us, jump. Here it comes. Now! <laughs> Gadget, you saved the professor. Well done, Gadget. Uh, thank you. What's that? Is it alive? Never mind. All that matters is you've rescued Professor Funkin. You're a hero. I am? Oh, uh, yes, of course I am. Inspector Gadget does it again. Well, you haven't seen the last of Dr. Clark Gadget. That was great, Uncle Gadget. I'm really proud of you. Well, if I say so myself, they picked the right man. Look, the professor's waking up. Feeling better, Professor? <laughs> Keep him away from me! I wonder what's wrong with him. Lakes are really nice. But always remember they can be very deep, so never swim out too far. And if you go out in a boat, make sure you've got a life jacket for each of the passengers. And don't load too many people in one boat. That can be very dangerous. <laughs> That's right, Brain. Most of all, don't swim in lakes with monsters. Monsters? Where? 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 Ready <laughs> wait for me!
next time. Thank you.